Today's Sports. And today uh, we have uh, one of our star athletes uh, from Derby High School. They're getting ready tomorrow to uh, play for, you say, 6A uh, state championship over in Kansas. Who do we have right. here? Uh, Corey Akins. I'm the corner over at Derby. Hey, hey, Corey, run it on down. Kenny Garden all the way up to uh, where you're at now. And give your, give your coaches and, and people that help you develop your skill set their props. Okay, so I've been playing football since kindergarten. And I started off, I played for the whole, I played for the same, I played for the same team all the way until middle school. So I played for the Wichita Trojans. I started in kindergarten, played until sixth grade. I had my head coach, Coach what Reggie. In the you play? I played a running back all the way up until my sophomore year. I played running back. So, yeah, I had my offensive coordinator, Coach Tony. He definitely showed me a lot of stuff. And then middle school, I switched to the Wichita Bulldogs, and we won a couple of city league championships there. And then that's when I made the final switch to Derby my freshman year. And, and uh, as it relates to the position you play in now, how'd that come about? Okay, so like I said, I played running back all the way up until freshman year. But after my freshman year came, we had Dylan Edwards coming in under me. So, I mean, I know I was a good athlete, a good running back, but I'm no Dylan Edwards, so I knew I'd have to I'd have to make a position switch if I wanted to see the minutes I wanted to see to be successful and make it to the next level. All right. So uh, when you switched, how difficult was that? Honestly, it wasn't it wasn't really difficult for me. Like it wasn't it wasn't super emotionally grueling for me or anything like that. Like I started off my sophomore year as a running back, but as I was splitting reps with Dylan, and I mean, I was a sophomore, I was a grade above, and I'm already splitting reps. I'm like, I mean, I'm splitting reps. Like, I don't, I didn't even want to split reps. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm not splitting reps. I want to do my own thing. So, I mean, I got in, I got in touch with the corners coach, Coach Hendrick. He was already a big mentor for me, and I mean, we talked it out, and he was, he welcomed me over there, and it's been a good ride ever since. Uh, what would you consider your best attributes as uh, on that corner? Uh, I would definitely, I would definitely say my makeup speed and yeah, just my speed out of my breaks. Like if I get, if I let a receiver cross my face or if they get past me or anything like that, like I usually can like turn on the speed and catch right back up to him. Right. Uh, you've been burned this season. No. Oh, you see the young man, the young man says, what are you talking about, Miss Nelson? Hey, I, <laughs> I don't know nothing about no bird. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I mean, as far as, like, giving up offensive yards this season, like, I've given up a couple big catches, but, I, I mean, I don't get burned. Like, it'll be a contested catch. Like, the receiver will make a good catch, but besides that. Uh, uh, are you part of the hit squad? Are you a hitter? Uh, my hitter, I'd like to. I'd like to self-proclaim myself as part of the ankle biter squad. Okay, I'm gonna. Sl- I'm gonna get that tackle, but I'm gonna slide on the turf, and I'm gonna. Oh, all right, hold it. You got all kind. Of, you got the bruises. In basketball, I usually use these terms. Are you rough and ready or silky smooth? And it sounds like you a combination that right. you can you can pop them, but you rather use technique. Right, I got to use that finesse. Yeah, I got you down. Am I describing you, your play? Yeah, you got me. All right. On a one to ten, what kind of physical shape are you in? Um, I'd like to – I'd give myself a seven out of ten as far as physical shape. Like, I keep myself – like, I I work out year-round. But, like, there comes – that comes with – what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It comes with a downfall. Like I got, I got really bad tendonitis in my knees and osteoarthritis. slaughters. So like, I can't really squat as much or I can't squat as much as I used to. And like, that's taking a toll on me. And it's like, I get pain throughout the games. So like, it's besides that, like I say, I'm good, but I definitely got knee pains that I've been battling this season a lot. 
But but you know, uh I'm saying I talked to a couple of athletes and they were talking about, you know, they good, but right. as that game wears on, uh they know they they're not in a nine on a one to ten, they in about a seven. And you know, you really need to be in ten. And I was gonna ask you, what are you doing in the weight room? What am I doing in the weight room? Uh, well, uh, like I said, I got tendonitis, so I, I can't I can't squat at all. Like I don't I can't do any hang cleans or I can't do any squats. So that's off the table for me. But as far as bench, like my high is one eighty five, and like I mostly do physical therapy or like band squats in the in the weight room, trying to rehabilitate myself throughout the week. So who's your menace tomorrow? Do you know who you're going to be covering? Um. Usually, if there's a top receiver, like if we're going against a receiver, a game changer, like our coaching staff will have me traveling with them and have me sticking to them playing man. But on our scouting report this week, there's not, I would like to say. They don't have a, to break away. They don't have They don't have a game changer receiver. All their receivers, they're above average, but they're all around the same skill what level. Kind of, so there's, What kind of, what kind of uh, who's playing on the other side? Uh, Jameer Clemens, my best friend. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of ball is he? Is he hit, is he a hitter or what's up with it? Oh yeah, he a hitter. He a hitter. That's his thing. They always have him on the nub side. That's his thing. He the hitter. Uh, what kind of linebackers? What them linebackers doing for you? We we got a crazy linebacker named Miles. If you watched any of our games, you would just see Miles Wash on this tackle, Miles Wash on that tackle. Like he's flies around everywhere. He's insane and. Like all our linebackers, they discipline, they they get through their gaps and they smart and they know our whole playbook. They are quarterbacks. So you feeling pretty confident about tomorrow? Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident about tomorrow. We had a we had a great week of practice, great energy all five days. We got an extra day of practice this week to definitely hone in on all the little things. So I'm I'm feeling real confident about tomorrow. And and we've been there before. So Oh, I like that. <laughs> Not new kids on the block. Uh, you set any expectations for yourself tomorrow in the way of stats or what have you? Yeah, I mean, I set expectations for myself before every game. I like I'd like to leave every game with a takeaway, which is which is my ultimate goal for every game. So yeah, that's my goal is to leave with a takeaway. But I mean my biggest goal tomorrow is to win a state championship, do my 111th on the field, whatever I need to do so that we can be hosting that trophy at the end of the game. Oh, that's what's up. Hey, what would you tell a young freshman on how, how, to, how to make it to the next level? You, you can't expect coaches to come to you. Like, that's the, that's the biggest thing. Like, my dad, he's helped me a lot throughout the recruiting process as far as getting my name out there and scheduling me for camps and traveling the country and all that. But you definitely can't wait for the coaches to come to you. You got to send them your film and get your name out there yourself. Like if you want it, you got to, you got to do it. You got to make it happen. Right. Hey, uh, man, I'm really uh, looking forward to tomorrow's game. I know you're up. Team is on 10. And uh, what would your closing words be? And do you have any shout outs? Um, I would like to shout out my whole football team. We go go and get this dub tomorrow. And my closing statement, that's my closing statement. I, <laughs> my shout out is my whole football team. And my closing statement is we go and get the dub tomorrow. Get that win. All right. <laughs> hey, man, right. it was a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, what I plan on doing, I plan on uh, in about two weeks because I want to let the dust settle uh, as it relates to who wins and who loses because I've got uh, a lot of interviews with both sides. Right. And then we we re-interview and talk about the game and t talk about next year for juniors and right. sophomores and what's the next move for seniors. Uh, now that the season's over. But it was a plum pleasing pleasure having you on the show tonight. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure being on the show tonight. Thanks for having me. And uh, as we always say here at Cascade Sports, when you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself.
Good right. night. All right. Good night. This is brought to you by Uncle Bill's Bail Bond.